to Walter Reed Hospital. I think I'm doing very well, but we're going to make sure that things work out. President Donald Trump was moved into a special suite at the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center on Friday after testing positive for COVID-19. A White House official said Trump would stay at the hospital for the next few days as a precautionary measure and that doctors had urged moving him there so the 74-year-old president could get immediate care if needed. A source familiar with the matter told Reuters that Trump has a mild fever. In a statement, the physician to the president, Sean Conley, said Trump was fatigued but in good spirits and was being treated with an experimental antibody cocktail from Regeneron that was administered intravenously. Conley also said that the first lady, quote, remains well with only a mild cough and headache. The news comes as the White House and Trump's campaign scrambled to adjust to the bombshell development with just 31 days to go until the November 3rd election. Trump had downplayed the threat of the virus for months and had ignored social distancing guidelines by holding large in-person rallies with supporters who mainly declined to wear masks. And he has mocked his Democratic rival, Joe Biden, for wearing one. I don't wear masks like him. Every time you see him, he's got a mask. He could be speaking 200 feet away from it. He shows up with the biggest mask I've ever seen. At a campaign stop in Michigan on Friday, Biden, who said he and his wife Jill tested negative for the virus, wished the president and first lady a speedy recovery. My wife Jill and I prayed that they'll make a quick and full recovery. This is not a matter of politics. It's a bracing reminder to all of us that we have to take this virus seriously. It means wearing a mask in public and means encouraging others to do so as well. Trump advisors acknowledged Friday that they would have to rip up their plans for the final weeks of the campaign and canceled several scheduled events. Trump's illness also means that others at the highest level of government have been exposed and may have to quarantine. And Trump's chief of staff, Mark Meadows, warned more infections were likely. As this virus continues to go on, other people in the White House will certainly uh, 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 have a, a positive test result. Vice President Mike Pence and his wife tested negative for the virus, according to a spokesman, who also said Pence, who would take over if Trump were to become incapacitated, will work from his own residence several miles away from the White House. The end of the pandemic is in sight. On Thursday, Trump had proclaimed that the U.S. was nearing the end of the pandemic, but hours later tweeted that he had joined the more than 7 million Americans who have tested positive for the coronavirus, which has killed more than 207,000 people in the United States, according to the CDC, more deaths than any other country.